Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing my first entry in the Cabin Fever Challenge for 2021. Uh, it's taken me a little bit longer to get this first submission done uh, than I originally anticipated or would have wanted to, but nonetheless, here we are. And this is going to be for Division 2 or Modern Unlimited. So I'm running the same thing I ran last year, which is my Midwest Industries 16 inch AR 15. From what I, if I can remember properly, in the exact same configuration. So I've got the YHM Turbo K up here in the front, 16 inch Criterion hybrid profile barrel, a primary arms one to six first focal plane ACSS Raptor scope, um, and then the Rise Armament 535 trigger in it. If you want to know more about this rifle, I have a full review on it, breaking everything down. But let's go ahead, jump into the run, and then break down how it went. So as you can see, I actually did pretty well uh, in the years past. I have not done particularly well in the modern unlimited division. The first year uh, with my BCM Recce 16, uh, I think I looked back, I got like 60 something points last year with this same rifle. I got 90 something points. And this year, at least according to my calculations, how the time broke down, I got 134 points, just a little bit over. I went ahead and rounded down. Um, so steady improvement each time. And I think just that comes down to familiarity with the course of fire, comfortable comfortability with the course of fire, um, and then just having some nice equipment to be able to complete it. Um, this was also one of the first years that I actually ran. It, it probably is the first time I ran any sort of like belt system for holding magazines, which is how I would typically run um, extra magazines, and that definitely aided in the speed um, that I was able to reload at, which just helped knock my entire time down as a whole. So uh, under a minute at 52 seconds uh, of total runtime, uh, with again 14 total hits. So. I'm pretty happy with how I did. Um, I can definitely see some glaring gaps in, in competency uh, or at least accuracy at speed. Um, specifically kneeling, I hardly got any hits at all. Prone, I think I went five for five. Um, and then I think standing, I only got two or three hits. So definitely some room for improvement. Um, I am pretty happy again with how I did overall. We'll definitely be doing some more runs with some more guns here in the very near future. But again, I just wanted to get this first one out and hopefully encourage some of you to get this cabin fever challenge done. So far we're right at the first of March and, uh, we don't have many submissions yet. We're, we're still kind of counting on one hand for total submissions so far, at least by my last count. So um, if you're going to compete ever, if you can spare 20 rounds, which I know is hard to do right now, this is probably the year to compete because it, it'll probably be a pretty thin field and it'll increase the chances of at least being in the top three for your division. So again, I highly encourage everyone to get out there and do it. I'll have all the links below, again, to the introduction video, the rules, everything else. Um, because we are doing some things a little bit differently this year. Um, and kind of in the, the spirit of making sure other people get out there and do it, I am going to be challenging someone in this video to go ahead and get out there and run through this challenge. And since I am running a super specced out AR-15, I want to see someone running an AK. And so I am challenging Clayco47 to this challenge. Um, if you are not familiar with him and you're into AKs, you should be familiar with this guy can probably run an AK faster than anyone I've seen. So I wanna see, hopefully, see if he can run an AK through this challenge and see how he does. Um, so 
I'll have a link down to Clayco 47's channel um, in the description. Also, again, if you're if you're not familiar with this channel, you, you should be. Um, he's a very fast growing channel. We'll probably be passing up here before too long. So uh, anyway, with all that being said, uh, I do want to say thanks to my patrons for helping make a challenge like this one possible. Again, Amlo's not something that's super easy to get by right now. So uh, their contributions definitely help make it a little bit more justifiable to get out there and do some shooting. Uh, but anyway, with all that being said, as always, I hope you got something out of this video and I really appreciate you watching.